Health news now as you get ready for dinner. You may be thinking about what you have to drink. New research out today will likely have you reaching for a glass of water instead of a sugary drink. Eight on your side medical reporter Susan Shapiro joins us now with more. Susan. That's right guys. A new study out today finds that teenagers are more inclined to drink water if they know just how many calories are in a bottle of soda or other sweetened beverages that we have out here tonight and how much activity it takes to burn it all off. Jackie Zimmerman is a dietitian with Lancaster General Health. Thanks yeah. for joining us tonight. Thank now, you. this study focused on inner city kids in Baltimore, but it's really applicable to anybody who uh, consumes a lot of soda or sugary drinks. That's right. Most people really just don't realize how much, how many calories and how much sugar is in some of these beverages and how much it takes to burn off that number of calories. And really kind of empty calories, would you say? Yeah, really the calories are all coming from sugar in most of these beverages. Fruit drinks have some nutrients with them, but it is a lot of sugar. Now, I was amazed this uh, popular fruit juice cocktail mm -hmm. has, uh, I think it's 240 calories. That's for the 16 ounce drink right. here, which people don't realize either that there's mm -hmm. two servings supposedly yeah. in there. And that cocktail is your red flag to know that it's not all 100% juice. The cocktail means that it has some sugar added to it all as right. well. Well, here's a popular soda. So how much sugar in that? What is this, 20 it's, ounces it's or so? It's going to shock you, but 19 and a half teaspoons of sugar in that, which equates to the about 250 calories that's in that beverage. Wow. And that, how, that seems like sugar you should have over the entire day. Right. Right. So what's the alternative, Jackie? Um, I think, you know, a great alternative is for people to drink plain water. Um, somebody that's used to drinking really sugary beverages is probably going to have to work their way down. If you don't like the taste of plain water, squeeze some lemon in there, maybe some other kind of citrus to float in there to make it a little bit sweet. You can even reach for seltzer water and do the same thing. I was so just about to say, fizz. that's something I love, the seltzer water, but not with the uh, any right, kind of sugar or, or, or even unsweet, just, uh, yeah, the plain flavoring. Right. And as you said, you've got your apple here. Better to have yeah. an apple if and a glass of water. sweet. Go for the apple. It's better for your teeth. Even than the juice, right? Yes. You get more from the apple. Right. You get the fiber. It fills you up. Um, makes you more full. All right. So uh, tonight at dinner, go for the water. <laughs> Back to you. Okay. Yeah. If you insist.